If you're a parent, you're probably buried in artwork. Stay tuned on how to organize it all and preserve those memories. As a parent, you want to celebrate your child's creativity and you save every single drawing and painting and little creation that they make. After a while, however, you are buried in all of this artwork. So there is definitely a way to organize it and save it so you can enjoy it for years to come. Here are the steps that I went through to organize my own son's artwork. The first step is to corral all the artwork you might have in your home. Go look for it in your office, in your bedroom, in the kids' bedrooms, in the kitchen, anywhere you might have tucked it away or hung it up just so that we can get all the artwork in one place. The second step is to sort your child's artwork. And you can do this in a number of ways. I sorted my son's artwork by age. It just was easy to corral all those toddler years and then his preschool years and then heading into elementary school with first grade and second grade. You see a nice progression in the artistic styles, but you could also do this by themes, maybe all of their self-portraits together, maybe all their paintings together, or maybe it's gonna be their 3D creations together. And in this case, I love, this is a little first grade cityscape that Max made. Here he is leaving home to go work for Microsoft. You hear that, Bill Gates? You have an eager employee right here. But of course, Max had to include the Dave and Buster's just down the street. So, you know, priorities and all. Anyway, this is a fun way to go through your child's artwork, figure out a way that you're gonna sort it so that you can organize it and preserve it and enjoy it for years to come. The third step is to photograph your child's artwork. And there's two ways to go about that. The first way is to do it yourself and involve your child in the process too. It's super fun. They can hold up their creation or you can just get them posing next to it. Um, but the goal is to get a good digital memory of each piece of artwork that's come home. This is especially important with those 3D creations that you know are not gonna stand the test of time. So go ahead and get those pictures before they fall apart and that way you will be ready to go on to the next step. Another way to go about photographing your child's artwork is to let someone else do it for you. And in this case, Archive is the perfect solution. They have a professional studio with lighting and photographers and they capture all of your child's artwork beautifully. You know it's gonna be in focus, well lit. They can even recreate those 3D environments. For example, the cityscape that my son created in first grade. So you just know that you're gonna be be able to safeguard those memories well and have them all loaded up into this app which will then take us to our next step. I hope this video has inspired you on how you too can control the artwork mayhem in your life and turn it into a nice tidy book like this one from Archive that you will treasure for years to come. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and while you're there, click on that bell icon so you can be notified when I release my next organizing video. In the meantime, this is Carrie Prince wishing you, from my home to yours, a very happy organized day.